podcast has been brought to you by Jim Adler and Associates. Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Rapper Joe Button is putting his sexual business in the streets. During an episode of his podcast, he admitted to faking putting on a condom before sex. His confession has created a pretty big shockwave. It's also started a conversation about when is that lying about a condom sexual assault. Our guests are here on The Factor Uncensored to talk about rapper Joe Button, who is now being called a sicko by some people for saying that he pretended to put a condom on during sex and didn't actually do it. Todd Smith, your thoughts about this? I think it's sexual assault. It could be rape because I, the way I look at it, consent for unprotected sex is different than consent for protected sex. So a lot of women, you might they might hook up with a dude at a club and they might consent to protected sex because they don't know the fella that well but unprotected sex might be something that they would shy away from so when you do that you take away a woman's right to choose basically so we're talking the abortion issue has been a, a big debate think about if he would have gotten her pregnant now she has an unwanted child but also think about if he would have given her a disease african-american women i'm assuming some of these women were african-american african-american women have higher aids rates hiv rates than a lot of other demographics but when you have people like that taking their lives loosely and not taking it seriously, you can see why those numbers are so high. So you have to put yourself in other people's positions. They should have a right to choose whether they want to have unprotected sex with you. And think about it from a man's perspective. If a woman lied and said she was on the pill and then she got pregnant, I would be upset. So women should have every right to be upset with this. And John, what do you think made him think that this was OK and that maybe it would have been funny? But people think, have been dragging him on social media. Uh, Isaiah, me being on television, a lot of people have told me, do something for shock value, do something for attention. I think a lot of times people do things to get the likes, to get the clicks and stuff like that. He probably didn't know it would be the opposite. He's getting all this backlash. I think when you're in the media, you want to do everything you can to stay relevant and stay in people's minds. But this went too far. And, and he could have spoke about it but warn other men not to do this or warn women to be aware of these types of things. But the way he did it made it seem like it wasn't a big deal. Joseph Pickens, let's hear from you on this situation. 42-year-old man says, I pretended to put on a condom while having sex. Listen, Isaiah, for over a decade, I've been writing about love relationships and sex. And this actually has a name. It's called stealthing. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. this um, pretending to use a condom, pretending to put a condom on. He even said that he would like go through the process of like walking to the corner store, pretending that he was buying condoms in order to come back. That's a lot of work. Sell. That's a lot of work. Um, and I can't agree more with what Ty was saying. You know, when I when um. I got the call to come on and say, oh, there are going to be some, some men in here talking about this topic. I was worried, right? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times men do think about this as like, oh, you know, it's a woman's responsibility to take care of her body. It's a woman's responsibility to make sure that she does not contract an STI. It's a woman's responsibility to make sure that she doesn't get pregnant. But Todd, I'm so glad that you brought up the points that you did. This absolutely is sexual assault. Um, like I said, it's called stealthing and um, it's wrong. There's no other way to say it, but the fact that it's wrong, it is sexual assault because the consent was given to have protected sex, as Todd said. And the minute that you go against whatever consent was given, that is considered sexual assault. It goes into a deeper topic um, about coercive sex that we are still trying to wrap our brains around um, as we move forward, as we evolve as a culture, right? Um, rape culture um, is what made Joe Button think that this would be funny. Yeah. That and, people and you would know, be one of the uh, podcast guests where he said it on the podcast hit the nail right on the head when, when uh, that person said he was a sicko. If you do something like this, this it's is you know, and this is intentionally lying and misleading someone and then going through a huge farce of walking down to the corner store to pretend you're getting it yeah. and you're still lying. Right. All lies. And um, for any people who would think that this OK, this is OK, I would ask them to think about the women in their lives, mm -hmm. your daughter 
your nieces and nephews, your sister? Um, how would you feel if a man did this to her? Um, as Todd said, we are looking at the reversal of Roe versus Wade, where um, abortion access for unwanted pregnancies isn't necessarily a guarantee, depending on where you live. So again, making women responsible for unwanted children, if this was something that was to happen as a result of stealthing. Um, not to mention, again, as Ty said, um, STI rates are rising again because mm -hmm. people are using condoms less. And so if someone is being proactive enough to have a conversation or to make a deal or whatever that is, where we know that we are going to involve in sex that involves condoms and involves protection, then, you know, fooling someone um, into having unprotected sex when they have agreed to, un uh, to protected sex is absolutely um, wrong. It's terrible. It's unlawful. 